All right, guys, welcome back to another episode here on Grow the Earth. And today we're going to be talking about beans. Now here in our garden, we actually grow four different types of beans. We actually grow a Asian yard long bean. We have your regular standard green beans, a yellow wax bean, and we actually have a purple green bean, but uh, actually we don't have any of those right now. And um, you know, uh, if you watched my previous episode, you know that this is one of the vegetables that I really like people to grow in their garden, especially the newer gardeners, because they are so easy to grow and they produce so much. Right here, this is actually only about three plants. And as you can see, it's, it's almost overgrown to the point to where it's hard to handle. And we have two purple plants over there and they're growing up about the same amount very thick, very vigorous growers, and they're uh, excellent producers. Now, when you're growing beans, they're gonna fall into two different types. You're either gonna have a pole bean, or a vining bean, or you're gonna have a bush bean. Now, of course, uh, you know, this is gonna take you into two different methods of growing. You know, one, you're either gonna have to let it go across the ground, and basically take up a lot of space, or you've got to have a trellis of some sort. And the very methods vary. The little hoop uh, trellis here I've got works pretty well. Uh, you can just do a straight wall trellis. Uh, they're going to grab on. They're going to continue to grow. With a little bit of training, they'll, you, know, you can keep them in check. Um, but they're really going to grow and produce a lot for you. Whereas here we have our, our yellow beans, which are a bush bean, and they only grow to be maybe two foot, at the best three foot tall, and they have a tendency to kind of lay over uh, whenever they get to be a certain size. As you can see here, we've got little stakes that we've got these tied to to help keep them upright and to keep the fruit from rotting on the ground and so forth like that. But uh, with either one of these different varieties, you're gonna have whenever they put on beans, that you're gonna notice that they come in flushes. Now what this means is the bean plant, whether it be a pole bean or a bush bean, is gonna grow, it's gonna set flowers, and then it is going to produce fruit. Well, as you pick that fruit, that plant is going to realize that it hasn't made fruit to maturity, which is why it's so important to pick these things regularly. Because just like a lot of other plants in your garden, once these beans inside of this plant, inside of this pod start to develop, once they reach a certain point, the plant realizes I've made a complete fruit, I have done my job, I have been able to reproduce, and they will shut down production. So you have to pick these things vigorously to make sure that you get all of them and you don't let any of them get too very big. Uh, but once you have successfully done that, as far as pulling all the beans that are ripe, and you'll come to a point to where you realize that you don't have any more beans on your plant. Then you'll notice that that plant will start putting on more flowers. This is called a flush. So it put on a bunch of flowers, it started making fruit, it made all that fruit, and now because it realized it didn't make any fruit to fruition, it's going to continue to put on more flowers and produce more fruit. And most times it will continue to do this to either one of three things. Either the cold will kill them, they'll actually make a fruit that is viable and able to reproduce, or the plant will just run out of steam and will end up dying because it has exhausted all of its reproduction energy. Now I'm gonna bring you in closer and show you uh, the flowers that you're going to see. All right, so what you see here, this is on our green bean plant. And these little white flowers right here, this is your flower that is gonna produce the green bean. It's gonna start out as these little nodules like this, then you're gonna get this this little uh, flower that's gonna come out and then it'll open up and it'll make that. And then once this makes, because this is actually an asexual plant, meaning it does not need, there's no male and female on this plant. 
It produces, it has everything it needs to produce fruit right here. And once it, they actually complete that process, you will get a little bitty guy just like that. And that will be can continue to grow to be your green bean, your yellow bean, your yard long bean. They all make this same process. And as you can see in this immediate area, we've got quite a few different flowers that are setting on. There's actually some more down here. There's some more down over there. And they will make a ton of more beans as this, uh, as this plant continues to grow and make more fruit and more fruit. Because we are very vigilant about going through and searching these plants and picking off all the fruit, it really, really produces very well for us. Now you're also gonna have your fruit are gonna fall into another subgroup under your pole or your bush bean. You're gonna fall into what I consider a eating bean or a dry bean. Now your eating beans, of course, are gonna be your green beans, your, your wax beans, things like that. And then you're gonna go into your other beans, which are your dry beans, which is gonna be a pinto or a navy or a butter bean or something like that. And the difference is, is what I call your eating beans, your green beans, you're gonna eat this whole thing. Your seed pod, the outside shell, the whole nine yards. A pinto bean or a navy bean or, or uh, many other types of dry beans. And of course you'll know the dry beans because these are typically what you buy in the store as a dry bean. And those, the, the husk or the outside shell of that bean uh, fruit is not necessarily what you're after. You're after the bean itself, that the, the seed pod that is inside of it. And that is what you're gonna dry out and what you're going to save and or use to cook to make your beans. Now, this little lovely thing right here, it's called an Asian yard long bean. These things are awesome. They produce well. They grow in your, in a, they're actually in the pole bean variety. And I'm gonna tell you what, when these things are really going, I pick between 20 and 30 of these beans a day. Now, if you hadn't noticed, they're quite a bit longer than a regular green bean. And they almost taste identical. Uh, so out of this right here, you're actually getting probably four to five green beans out of this that is only coming from one flower. Uh, so these are awesome. They uh, work very well in the heat, of course. And uh, you know, you have some animals that try and eat on these and so forth, but they produce so vigorously that you won't even notice the, the ones that, are, that you're not getting from that plant because they produce so much. And uh, I would highly suggest this to be the variety that you grow just simply because of ease and how much you can get out of it. Now, if you don't like green beans, do not grow this plant because you will have so many you don't know what to do with. We regularly come out and pick these and I probably, again, right now as we speak, um, it put on a flush of, of these uh, about two or three weeks ago and I'm picking 15 to 20 of these a day. So right now we're harvesting these, we're cutting them up, we're putting them in the freezer to save for later. That's another good thing about these, just like a green bean, these things freeze incredibly well and they preserve well. So as they're growing, you can save up, you can give away and you'll still have some for later on in the season whenever these aren't growing. Uh, and of course your green beans and yellow beans, they're pretty much the same thing. They freeze very well. They they, uh, they produce well, again, they produce in flushes. So once that plant, that you've picked all the fruit off that plant, don't pull that plant because it will put on more flowers and it will make another round of fruit for you. And again, it will continue to do that until something kills that plant. And uh, with us being farming these things, in effect, we're farming them, um, we're not letting them get to the point to where they reproduce and they will just basically run out of energy and run out of uh, kind of a life force to continue to grow and continue to produce. 
But guys, I thank you for joining me today. I really like sharing this kind of information with you. I really want you to like and subscribe. And I want you to know that growing things in your garden is one of the best things you can do, not only for your mental uh, health, but also to help yourself have a better outlook on life because you're more connected to the, the earth and these plants and everything but also it lets us connect to our creator because just as we were created these plants were created and we continue to grow and flourish just as these plants do because God wills it because he wants us to be happy and wants us to be fruitful these plants are fruitful because he wants them to be fr fruitful you know guys in everything, I ask you, pray over your family, pray over your garden, and have a great day.